Travis Wayne Goodsell. So uh, the Amazon guy finally appeared as we're at 3 p.m. Uh, but he found it, he knows where it is, and he seems to be the regular guy for the weekdays. Uh, my goodness. So, yeah, I've got, uh, it's too late to go grocery shopping. Hi. Uh, so, I, yeah, I'll have to figure out something tomorrow. Uh, I'm still waiting to see if the umbilical cord with the shelter is severed, as uh, they are promising to to pay March. And they said they were going to be able to do it through wire transfer, but uh, then the uh, liaison lady uh, got sick this week. So whether it's sick from the workplace, which uh, everybody's getting sick at the shelter because the place refuses to provide a healthy, safe environment and discriminate against people. <coughs> Such is the case. So, uh, let's talk about the calendars here that I'm going to be able to add to the Egyptian gold plates of so the history of the Mormons in the latter days which apparently is going to be of their destruction utter destruction and so I found this guy on Amazon back in uh, uh, was it 2017 or somewhere back in those days uh, and yeah because I had it before the uh, the total solar eclipse, and uh, and so on that day I was able to, or after that day had occurred, I thought, oh, I might as well check and see the Egyptian calendar, see what that day was all about, and then drop my jaw. <laughs> and so it's uh, uh, Luigi Trapani, who uh, is the author of these calendars, and uh, it's the uh, he just simplifies it to Egyptian religious calendar. Uh, this is uh, as if it were the ancient Egyptian calendar. He provides both the civil and the religious uh, dating. And, uh, and so it's uh, <coughs> 422 to 423 for 2022. And then uh, the one for 2023 is uh, 20, 423 to 424, the great year of Ra, which is the sun god who eventually took over for Amun and syncretized with him. That's pronouncing it correctly. <coughs> Merged into one. And so I. Uh, this is the original calendar of mankind, the first calendar created, despite the Babylonians having created the seven-day week calendar. And so anywhere in documents where you see a seven-day week and the seventh day is considered a, a sacred holy day where you don't do any work on it, that comes from the Babylonians. Oh, that's in Genesis, isn't it? Yeah. And so it was Genesis was written after the Babylonian period at least and as you go through Genesis you'll find other anachronisms that place it during the Roman period time such as Sodom getting destroyed and so I uh, these go back far beyond 400 it recycles itself, similar to the Mayan calendar, if you're familiar with that one. That's where the Mayans got it from, it was from the Egyptians. That's where they got their pyramid building skills from, from the Egyptians. They are from Egypt. And, uh, and so, 
I, like I said, I checked and found out for the 21st of August 2017, and even for 23 September 2017, because uh, in their uh, calendar system, every single day the temple is open. You can worship any day you want, <clears throat> not just for harvests, not just for when you need something. You can go every day and just offer up prayers. And uh, the system was set up such that uh, you could bring your food and drink offerings, and the priest would take them from you, present them before the god of the temple. They'd have opening hymns that were played, and, uh, and prayers that were offered to bless the offerings, and then a portion of those offerings would be given back to the person who gave the offerings, similar to the sacrament, which is where that comes from. And the reason for the rituals is because of the theology stories of the Egyptians. And that has to do with uh, the first family that is involved in all of Egyptian life, of uh, Osiris, Isis, and their son Horus. And uh, we're not going to go into that for this video, as I've done it on other times. Okay, and so let's, since we have a the second day of darkness on 14 October, let's check. Now we can check today. It's March 2nd. We'll see what today's month of little fire. Huh. Yeah, okay. So that's this month right here. 20th of February to 20th of March. Little fire. This is the year that she'll burn as an oven. We're in a little fire month. Hilarious. See, this guy, he's not Christian. He's not Mormon. He's not Jewish. He just devoted himself to Egyptian and knows the Egyptian calendar. Okay. Second of March. It's the eleventh day of the month of Little Fire. Eleventh day of the lunar month in religion, as I've told you before. Uh, moon are associated with religion, sun with government. And so the civil calendar is the solar calendar, and thus the government calendar. Whereas the lunar calendar is with the moon calendar, and thus the religious calendar. Is sacred to Horus. To Horus, the son of Isis, the great god in the throne of Horus, the good god, the heir of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, many colored of plumage, he who comes forth from the horizon. He's quoting from Egyptian documents. Uh, to Imseti, to Hathor, the lady of Dendera, the eye of Ra in Dendera, and to Hathor, the Lady of Dendera. Hathor is the house of Horus, thus the queen. And so it's Isis as a mother figure rather than a wife figure as Isis, the wife of Osiris. Okay, so today's rituals are the feast of the Illumine Moon and the feast of the Moonlight Rays. The great protector is the god of the feasts. And I'd be, I'm curious, is it, what phase of the moon is it today? For that, we will check, I probably should have checked the little calendar I kept on file here. Rather than hoping that my internet will allow me access right off the bat, and it's not. So frustrating. Having a fast, very fast internet speed is supposed to help me out. 
and the YouTube employee has now figured out I've got fast speed internet and is slowing down the upload from his side. <sighs> Unbelievable. They just will not leave me alone, William Ormans. You have to prove the church is true by lying and cheating. You know, if you had nothing to fear about the church, you'd leave me alone. Because if I'm wrong, then I'll be exposed as wrong, right? Uh, no, the full moon is not until the 7th. Okay. So it's just after the first quarter, which was on the 27th. Okay. And this is also how you do research, by the way, when you're checking Joseph Smith's stuff out. Presiding deity, lady of Hippept, Nebt Hippept, is the name of the city located in the gnome of On Heliopolis. Ah. So it's gnome is province. Uh, the thirteenth gnome of Lower Egypt. Thirteenth. Interesting. Okay. Then they, he gives the reference here. <coughs> Chronocrator, she who plunders gold. So the day is the day to plunder gold. <laughs> Religious prescriptions. If you see anything, it will be good on this day. These are quotes from the Egyptian documents. And religious festivities. The gods and goddesses are satisfied when they see the children of Geb, which is the earth, sitting in their places. They are at peace, Salem. A uh, feast of chewing onions. <laughs> for Bastet. Day of chewing onions. Offerings for Amun-Ra with his Ined, that's the uh, uh, Ogdod creation glyph. Uh, those are those guys. And so we're looking at the uh, story of Noah in this particular case. Offerings are bread, biscuit, uh, jars of beer, geese, jars of wine, baskets of fruit, ordinary fowl, baskets of incense, bouquet and baskets of fresh flowers and they give tea Ramses the third as the source for that uh, as the feast of Paket it is the eye of Horus um, feast of Horus the Lord of life so today is the day of Horus and uh, interestingly on the stellarium for the sky Venus has been right there in conjunction with Jupiter. Jupiter is Horus from Revelation. All right, so let's go into the future and look at October, July, August. Uh, 21st of August 2023 is the sixth day of Teki. And so it's not the New Year's, is it? And yet it was the New Year's in 2017. Do you see how rare it was? The religious calendar does not follow the same pattern. That's interesting. He doesn't have the civil equivalents here. Oh, there it is. Civil calendar, one month of pro, uh, sixth day. So it's the first month instead of the month of Teki. And he has in the front some explanations about the various months and all that stuff. And rituals and such. So we want 14 October, August. So September, month of clothing, 
It's 15 September to 13 October. It's New Year's. <laughs> it's New Year's. Oh, crap. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> it was New Year's for the first day of darkness in 2017. It's the New Year, or the, yeah, well, let's hold on here. It's the third month. <laughs> it's the first of the month, which is the third month of the Egyptian lunar calendar. The month of Hathor. <laughs> this is awesome. The House of Horus. <laughs> and so the first day when the eclipse takes place, uh, sacred to Montu, Montu Ra Harakti, great god, the lord of the sky, to Atum, to Ra Harakti, great god, the lord of the sky, the magnificent, powerful one. He who presides over the great seat, and to Numra, the lord of Esna. I uh, put Amun with Num in the video I did the other day, if anybody caught that. <coughs> and there's where he's combined with Ra, rather than Amun. Uh, the Feast of the New Moon, because it's a solar eclipse. And David is the god of the feast. Foth. And it's the second month of Pro, 30th day of the civil calendar. Right? That's what the Roman numeral ones represent. And, uh, and so Horus is the presiding deity. He presides at the meeting. <laughs> And uh, Chronocrator is Isis, his mother. And so the religious festivities, inspecting of Bendejdit in the sacred temple. So there's an inspection going on in the temple on that day. The great ones in Komun, Shmon, Hermopolis, uh, bringing a message in the high place in Khmun Shmun either pronunciation either pronunciation uh, and so yeah there's a message being brought in the high place of the temple and there's an inspection in the temple and a feast of Hathor a feast of appearing of Har the lord of Ambos come Ambo the gold. That's where the Abraham Papyra is from, is Kamambos. Facsimile number one. I've I'm the one who discovered that it is from that location originally. Whether it was written from that origin or whether somebody uh, copied the original document, it doesn't matter, but that's what it's showing with the the burr or the Horus hawk that is missing in the uh, uh, um, facsimile that uh, has been discovered as the wings rather than the hands of Abraham, Osiris, with the crocodile, the god of Pharaoh, as is explained by Joseph. Those two deities are only at Kam Ambo. And that's how I was able to identify the source of the document from that location. <clears throat> Feast of Appearing of Min. Min is one of the ones that those who aren't Mormon, who look at the Egyptian facsimile number two, have a conniption fit going, that's a penis, that's a penis, this is pornography. <laughs> so, yay, isn't that awesome? 
I would have gone nuts if that was the new year. But the new year is actually three months previous. And so it's not even in September or October. Yeah, it's in the summertime this year. But that would have been wild. But it is the third month. The first day of the third month. Which, yeah, I should have known that because it's a solar, or it's a full moon. <coughs> and uh, 22nd of September. Let's look at that one. Because that is the day that's the bicentennial day. It's the eighth day, eighth day of the month of the clothing. I'm assuming the garment, the temple robes, just offhand. Uh, the eighth day of the lunar month is sacred to Isis, the wife of Osiris, the mother of Horus. Isis the Great One, the God's Mother, the Lady of the Temple of Isis at Dendera. She who resides in Dendera uh, to Isis the Great One, the God's Mother, to Nephthys. Uh, she's the sister who was married to Set, but when Set lost and was banished from the kingdom for a millennial reign of peace, she was then, according to the laws given to her, his brother, Osiris, which is her brother also, uh, and to Geb, their father, who is the earth, with Nut as the mother god, Adam and Eve. So Genesis chapter 2, verse 4, these are the generations of heaven and earth. These are the generations of Nut and Geb. And then you have Cain and Abel that are only talked about. And so then Cain slays Abel as Set slayed Osiris. And so Noah is technically supposed to come through. Uh, and, uh, well, spiritually through Osiris, but wins by claiming descendants through Cain but because the author was confused and didn't like the Egyptian story he gave another child to Adam and Eve and they named him Set and so you can see how he was uncomfortable but still kept the Egyptian source documents in his text and so Noah is technically through both Abel and Cain from the Egyptian documents. Uh, it's a feast. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, um, one mighty and strong to give the heredity prince of the gods the mighty one. He whose physical strength is great, one mighty and strong, the great god in the seat of stabbing. So, yeah. The one mighty and strong, when Joseph Smith tells us who our Christ is. The man like Moses, the one mighty and strong. And on this day, 22nd of September, 2023, the eighth day of the month of the clothing, we're talking about Adam <coughs> as the one mighty and strong in the seat of stabbing. And I'm assuming the throne where Osiris was murdered for stabbing because I don't think it's the house of dragon with all the swords sticking out of it <laughs> the feast of the first moon of the day he who sees his father is the god of the feast hmm. interesting feast of the moon that causes to overflow it's the second month, eighth day of Pro in the civil calendar. And, oh, Mutt is the presiding deity. She who judges the gods. The day of judgment. 22nd of September, 2023. The bicentennial day and year. The day of judgment. So, yep, they connected that. And the Lady of Silence. It's an epithet 
of Hathor and Isis. Yeah, because they're the same person. And, okay, religious prescriptions. Anyone born on this day will die. <laughs> Is it too late to stop women from getting pregnant to give birth on that day? <laughs> Let's go back in time. Let's see, August. July, June, May, uh, April, ma March, February, January, all, oh. <laughs> December. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, yeah. If you had gotten pregnant in December, you're expecting a baby in the 22nd of September, uh-oh. <laughs> And it was Daya the Crocodile, which is the god of Pharaoh. <laughs> and so the religious feasts, uh, the Feast of Amun, uh, in the temple. And the Uppet Feast of Amun. Huh. Offerings for Amun-Ra with his Enid. And the portable image of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Ramses the Third, and the Feast of Horus. So Amun connected with Horus. You see that? Amun L is his name. Uh, his son Amun. And then the procession of the goddess Hathor and her Enid forming her ritual and making what is done at the river quays. Hmm. Fascinating. So there you have it. And you're not supposed to bathe the day before on the 21st. <laughs> no. The portion of the moon, the width of the moon. Yeah. This is the seventh day sacred to Osiris. Yah! <gasps> Yah is the presiding deity. Uh, Yah Mose was the first pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. And uh, it, it's. You have to be careful because Yah, the Hebrew god, is the Semitic phonetics. The actual phonetics comes from their connection with Paleo Greek, thus Koine Greek, which is uh, <coughs> Za. The Us for Zeus is the masculine singular ending, so you can eliminate that. And so Za is Ya, but is supposed to be pronounced Ya as Za. And uh, and so when the Jews got captured and taken into Babylon. That's when Zeus became Yah with the phonetical phonetic change. So yeah, I am correct. The coughing and the mucus in the eyes indicate a uh, allergy reaction, but I don't know what allergies. I'm suffering from because I started in the shelter should not be coming with me unless it's the drug residue that's going to take months to go away okay so yeah Uh, did I mention everything I was supposed to on that? Got distracted with the 22nd September. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
And so uh, the connection of Yah, the Hebrew God, as a Semitic post-Babylon captivity uh, is not to be connected with the moon god Yah of the Egyptians, though he is. <laughs> Yah is considered a moon god of the Canaanites and thus the Hebrews as they assume. <coughs> but uh, it's actually Zeus. Uh, and so it's a, a forced connection uh, because of the assimilation into Babylon. But, uh, yeah, and it's the moon god because Thoth is the moon god. David, the moon god. And yet the combination of the double Ds, the deltas, which is the same in Paleo-Hebrew, uh, the pyramids, create male and female combined into one, giving birth to the child Horus, and thus is the sun Emmanuel, rather than the full moon. But yeah, it's both, in a sense, because the eyes of Horus are both the sun and the moon, as the word Peter is the result of that for seer. So yeah, that was cool. So now I got my collection up to date. <sighs> That's a relief. And the driver now knows where to find this place. <laughs> and so, yeah. Ugh. Tomorrow I'm expecting my... Uh, I had to buy a new printer, copier, scanner. <sighs> but uh, I don't think it's going to be able to convert these into PDFs. It might. I'd have to really stretch out the books, but I have another printer, scanner, copier to do that work. I hope it survived the shelter or the storage unit. So, alrighty. So there's your your Egyptian forecast for the bicentennial year of the year that shall burn as an oven from Joseph Smith history. The second vision.